Going to kill scripture. How can I help you? Hi, this is from Mel. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Just wanted to reach out. I uh, saw you as the owner of Sales Scripter and wanted to see what you guys were doing to uh, save money regarding your accounts payable process. What do you mean, accounts payable process? Um, so typically, owners that we work with say that they have a pretty intensive um, AP process, AR process and uh, they're looking for a way to automate that. So just curious what y'all's uh, process looks like. Like if you guys are on books. Yeah, I mean, we really have no accounts payable. Oh, I mean, it's okay. Very simple. Okay, gotcha. And on the receivable side, do y'all have a lot of receivables? or No. That's pretty. No. Okay. No. Okay, gotcha. Okay, well, it's all e- so e- e-commerce. Time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, best of luck to you, and thanks for chatting right. with me today. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. Hello, it's Michael Helper with Sales Scripter, and a really interesting cold call there. Whether you noticed it or not, she actually did a lot of really good things in that cold call, but there was definitely a lot of room for improvement. And one of the things that she did well is her purpose for the call, she did try to share a value proposition. Now, there is clearly a lot of room for improvement here because I really did not know what she was talking about. So I'm going to show you how she could improve her value proposition in just a couple of minutes. But then when I said, kind of, what are you talking about? She used her pain points as a way to try to educate me and explain that to me. And I thought this was really good. You can often find yourself talking to a prospect about your product or service, and they just don't understand what you're talking about. A really good way to educate the prospect on what the heck it is that you sell is to talk to them about the problems that your product or service can help to fix. And she did work her way to ask me a couple qualifying questions, which is good. I believe the centerpiece of a cold call should be asking a few good questions. Definitely a lot of room for improvement on these questions, and I'll show you how she could improve this and the way that I will do that is I basically took what she said in this cold call and her cold call script and put it into our sales message brainstorming process and our process helped me to create this sales message and just to show you the difference here if I go back to her value proposition the value proposition that I ended up with going through our smart selling sales system process instead of talking about saving money regarding your accounts payable process we help small business owners to simplify their AP and AR processes, decrease time spent dealing with those processes, decrease the time it takes to receive payments, and decrease delinquent payments. Now, whether or not you agree with those actual points, you should be able to see how my value proposition is more powerful and more clear than what she had. And then that same process helps us to improve the pain points that we help to solve, that AP and AR can be intensive and time consuming, and it can take time for customers to pay. And a large amount of accounts payable is never paid and never recovered. And what can we do with her questions here? Well, we could create pain questions that probe for the pain points that this product or service solves. And not only create pain questions, but we could create current state questions that try to identify what is the prospect doing in this particular area. And this process, each of these steps basically gives us what we call building blocks. And you can use those building blocks to easily create a cold call script to mix and match that value proposition and those pain points and those questions to have a flow to use for your cold calls. And just to show you what this will look like real quick. Hello, this is Michael calling from Company X. Have I caught you in the middle of anything? Hey, the reason for the call is and then you share your value proposition, but I'm not sure if you're needing to improve those areas and that's why I'm reaching out. If I could ask you real quick, and then you ask a couple of your pain questions, or you ask a couple of your current state questions. Hopefully there you identify a reason to talk more, and then you can skip ahead to close for the appointment. But if you're not able to find a reason to talk more, you might wanna just share the problems that you help to solve by sharing your pain points. And before you go for the close, 
you want to build a little bit of interest by educating the prospect on what you sell. And this is where you can share some details of the product that you share. Based on what you've shared so far, it might make sense to talk more because as I mentioned, I'm with Company X and we provide business process outsourcing it and includes this. We're different in some very key ways. And if you want to build just a little bit more interest, share a customer example. Hey, and you know what? We actually helped a company just like yours and you could share a pain point they had and you could share how you solve that pain point and the areas that you improved and then you go for the close but i've called you out of the blue i'm not sure if this is the best time to discuss this are you available for a brief call where i can share some examples of how we've helped other businesses to improve these areas and then you close for talking more in the form of an appointment all right so hopefully that helps give you some ideas for your cold calling efforts and if that does help you in any way and you want to return the favor, very easy to do. All you have to do is like, comment, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Any of those help us and none of those cost you anything. If you like these tips, you may want to follow us on any of these social platforms. We post daily sales tips. If you like what we've discussed here and you want more of this, everything I've shared with you here today is part of the SMART sales system. SMART stands for sales messaging and response tactics. And as you can see, my process for improving her cold call and her cold call script was to go back and start with creating a sales message. And that's the foundation of the SMART sales system, which is organizing the key things that you want to communicate. Not creating your script, but organizing the talking points that you want to share with prospects. And once you have that foundation of that sales message, it's real easy to progress to level two to use all of that to create your cold call script. That's what I did in this video. By having the sales message and that creating the building blocks, it was real easy to create that cold call script. And once you have your cold call script, then it's about execution and that's the level three. That's how to make those cold calls, how to send those cold emails, how to get around objections. And if you wanna learn the smart sales system and implement the smart sales system, the great news is that you can do it for free because it's all on YouTube. All you have to do is go to this playlist, the smart sales system, sell smarter, not harder, and there's a video that will take you through each of the steps of learning learning the smart sales system. Now we give that away for free on YouTube because all of this does align with a product that we do sell called Sales Scripter. Sales Scripter aligns with level one. Level one was to create your sales message. There's an area in Sales Scripter called the Sales Message Builder, which will take you through that process step-by-step step and make creating your sales message much easier. And the nice thing about doing that inside of Sales Scripter is that Sales Scripter also aligns with level two, providing a sales playbook, which is a library of sales scripts and email templates and voicemail scripts is basically a library of documents and those documents fill in with your sales message that's how you end up with a custom tailored library of sales scripts and emails tailored to your product your service your industry and certainly sales script aligns with level three providing full crm functionality email automation sales role play software and the upgrade from there is certainly I'm available to help with any of these levels on a consulting basis. The most popular consulting package that we sell is where customers purchase two hours with me and I go through level one with them, helping them to create their sales message. And we brainstorm the optimum set of benefits and pain points and questions to ask. If that's interesting, but you still don't know what to do next, you may want to check out my book, The Smart Sales System, Sell Smarter, Not Harder. And you can get a copy on Amazon here. I'll put a link in the description below. That's pretty much it. If you want more information, the best place to go is salescriptor.com. Thanks for being here. Hope this was helpful and we look to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.